Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we learn about EM18 RFID reader. This is mainly used for uh, radio frequency wireless identification technology RFID reader. So this is how a EM18 uh, RFID reader model will look like as you can see here. So this uh, radio RFID that is a radio frequency identification is a wireless identification technology that mainly uses a radio waves in order to identify the pro presence of RFID tags. Like just like a barcode reader, RFID technology is mainly used for identification of people, object, etc. Whether they are present or not, you can identify. In barcode technology, we need to optically scan the barcode by keeping it in front of the reader. Whereas RFID technology, we just need to bring the RFID tag in the range of that readers because it is sending the radio frequency waves. So also the bar, bar in the barcode technology like a barcode can get damaged or unreadable but it, it is not in case of RFID so it is a very useful. So this RFID is used in many applications like attendance system in every person will have their uh, separate RFID tag which will help to identify the person and their attendance and the RFID can be used in companies to provide access to their authorized employees and it also helpful for keep track of goods and in automated or toll collection system, highway by embedding a tag to each vehicle. Like that in many application you can make use of this RFID. So what is RFID technology and how exactly it will work? So like uh, RFID is a radio frequency identification system mainly consists of two components, a transponder or a tag that is RFID tag. It is which can be attached to an object uh, like object that has to be identified and then there is a, a receiver transceiver also known as you can call it as a RFID reader so that will uh, read that a uh, tag so that a reader consists of many radio frequency module and an antenna which ja, what this uh, reader module will generate means what it will do means it will mainly generate a high frequency electromagnetic field so on the other so it in the range if the uh, RFID tag comes means it will identify that RFID tag so the tag usually has a passive device meaning it uh, the tag doesn't have any battery or anything instead it contains only a microchip that stores the process of that information like a unique, uh, unique identification of that uh, will be uh, stored in the RFID tag and an antenna to receive the transmit signal whenever you transmit the signal using RFID reader module in order to receive that uh, an antenna will be present in this RFID tag. So to read the information encoded on a tag, it has to be placed in a close proximity or very near, some, some near to the reader range. So a reader generates an electromagnetic field which causes the electrons to move through the uh, tag. What happens is whenever those uh, electrons move towards the tag, subsequently the, it will power the chip so that it, get, it can get identify the tag. So the power chip inside the tag then responds by sending stored information. So whenever uh, that stored information is hit by the uh, electron so it will again send back the stored information in the tag back to the reader so in this way reader can read the form of the, uh, that is whatever the information stored in that RFID tag so whatever the, the stored information will send back in the form of a radio signal we call it as a backscatter so the backscatter or a change in the electromagnetic RF wave is detected and that is interpreted by the reader so which is then uh, sent as a data out to a computer or a microcontroller like that this RFID reader and a tag will work. So what are the uh, different features of this RFID reader module means this RFID reader module uh, works with the 125 kilohertz range and it is of low cost it is very easy to use it gives RS-232 and a TTL output so in both uh, ways you can connect out uh, get output through this RFID reader module it need a very less external component drive. Uh, component to drive and it has a TTL level compatible and it has a small buzzer and LED available in order to know about the card present. Whenever a card RFID tag is detected means a buzzer will come, glow, uh, LED will glow and the buzzer sound will also come like that. So what are the application of this RFID reader module? You can use it in a security and surveillance applications, a smart home system, automotive uh, domain, industrial domains. You can make use of this uh, RFID reader module in a wireless identification technology. So next we will see how to interface this RFID module uh, that is our EM18 RFID reader module with Arduino Uno microcontroller. So as you can see here, it, this reader module mainly has a 4 pins VCC in order to provide the power supply and ground pin you know, it has to be connected to ground and there is a transmitter pin. 
So as you can see here, uh, VCC pin have connected to five volts of Arduino you know, in order to provide the power supply, and ground pin have grounded here to the microcontroller. Then uh, the transmitter pin, so the reader mainly transmitting the uh, signals, that is RF uh, radio waves, electromagnetic waves. So in order to uh, the transmitter pin have to connect to receiver pin of Arduino. Like how after reading the data from the tag, the the RFID model will send data to the uh, controller. So that uh, we have st started to connect it to the receiver of this Arduino Uno microcontroller. So this is the easy way to interface this uh, RFID uh, reader module to Arduino Uno microcontroller. So next we'll see the sample code for this RFID model. So as you can see, uh, first we have to do the setup. So uh, serial dot begin. This is the 9600 bordered hand setting. So I'm checking if of serial data available means I'm making the count. So uh, here using this uh, sample code, you can uh, uh, print. You can see the output in the serial monitor. Like what is the tag? You can print the count and tag length whenever a tag is detected. This is the sample code. You can write your own code depending on the uh, particular application where you are using this RFID reader model. In this way, you can make use of this RFID reader model in a wireless identification technology and with the specific applications you can make use of this. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you.